Why do we have to convert cannabis? You ever wonder why you just don't take a bud off the plant and eat it? Because <laughs> nothing will happen. Well, a lot of things will happen, but you won't get the desired effect that you know from cannabis. The reason you have to heat up cannabis is to activate the THC. Um, in nature, THC has a little arm on it called a carboxyl group, which is really just CO2. A carbon, two oxygen atoms, and a hydrogen atom and that hydrogen atom is just a proton. So when you heat it up, there's, there's this little arm sticking out. We'll say this is a THC molecule. It's got this carboxyl group on it. This is the weakest bond on the molecule. When a molecule is heated up, it begins to vibrate, and this one will break first. So with that on, it can't bind the receptor. With it off, it slaps into the receptor. You have to activate cannabis. Uh, you got to heat it in a brownie burn it in a joint, but you have to heat it up to activate the THC, or it won't bind the receptor. Not only THC, but cannabin cannabinol, cannabidiol, cannabigerol, they all have acid groups on them in nature. Um, this is a decarboxylation curve here, again the bell curve, with temperature increasing this direction, and percent of THC that they're finding in, in, in their measurements after decarboxylation. This curve here is the THC acid curve. You see it's being decarboxylated, so it'll go away. It's all being converted to delta-9 tetrahydrocannabinol. And they get a maximum here, I believe it's at around 158 degrees centigrade. That's 311 degrees Fahrenheit, higher than most people would expect. Uh, but what'll happen if you keep heating up in temperature, it'll start to evaporate. The THC now converted will start to go skyward. It'll evaporate. So you want to hit this optimum and then prevent evaporation. So I would heat for at least 300 degrees for 20, 30 minutes. We'll decarboxylate most samples. Now, if you've got a little bit of cannabis, say, wrapped in tinfoil, and you decarboxylate that, it's going to quick decarboxylate a lot quicker than one that's in a, in a cooker, for example, with just a, a whole bunch of cannabis in there, and the heat can't penetrate as well, and decarboxylation won't be as efficient. Here's the most common mistake, I believe, that people make in doing baked products, is that they will often take their raw material cannabis, whether it's shake or bud, or it's ground up, and they'll put it in with their uh, baking ingredients, mix it up, and stick it in the oven for a specific time and temperature. I, I would always do it the other way around. Convert your raw material first, decarboxylate it. You can grind it up before or after, and, and then put it into your baked product, and you don't want to cook at too high a temperature, but most cookies, you don't have to. You can, you can get away with lower temperatures. THC is extremely important active within cannabis. All herbal Medicines have what they consider actives in them, whether it's hypericin and St. John's wort or silymarin and milk thistle. These are considered actives, and they're the medicinal ingredients within that herb. THC is an extremely important active within cannabis, uh, very important for pain relief, uh, appetite, seizure disorder, uh, Crohn's. There's a multitude of illnesses that cannabis affects, but the more I work and study the effects with individual people using cannabis therapeutically, and the more I study and the more information is realized about cannabis itself, cannabidiol is, uh, Fred Gardner, a California writer, called it the molecule of the year last year. Bravo, because Cannabidiol, as it's turning out in the research, is anti-inflammatory, it's anti-cancer, um, anti it's antioxidant, it's anti-seizure. I know that I will be studying the cannabis plant for the rest of my life because there's so much to learn, and it's such a phenomenally useful plant. I've heard you can make more than 4,000 products from cannabis and only 2,000 from corn. Um, they make brake shoes from it in Germany, they make clothing from it, they make petroleum from it, they make food from it, they make medicine from it. To lose this plant 
I, I, I can't even imagine how, what a great loss that would be to us. Um, to study it, wow. To use it, to, to explore its medicinal value, oh. Because <laughs> I've spoken with many medical doctors over the years, and I've told a few of them, you know, if you were able to prescribe natural cannabis, you would be very, very happy because you would have people coming up and thanking you. That's, I'm, I, I keep going into the medicinal value of it, but it, it's a great food. It's a, you know, it can, it can, you can run cars on it. Uh, but as a medicine, to lose it would be deplorable, absolutely unacceptable.